click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So friends, this is the another preparation of alcohol that we are going to talk about, and this is nothing but preparation of alcohol from alkene using diapole. So now let us understand this topic very clearly. So friends, now in this topic we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare alcohol from an unsaturated alkene using that is diapole. So for that, let me give you the general reaction and after that we will get to the example of that general reaction. So for example, if I am considering that an unsaturated alkene that is R, C, H, so we got CH2. And obviously I have to react it with diapolene. So diapolene is nothing but that is B2H6. But the cyclometry turns into such a way that is we have to use that is 6 moles of the unsaturated alkene so that we could get that is I'm writing over here that is 2 moles of that is R C H2 C H2 B and here it will be that is 3 moles of uh, that is the alkyl group that will be attached to the OA and now talking about the next one that is this is the product that we have obtained that is R C H two C H two thrice B. So this is actually known as trialkyl borane, and now this trialkyl borane it will react with that is hydroperoxide that is three moles of H two O two, and that also in the presence of a base that is O H minus, or it could be any of K H strong base. So the for the product that we could obtain that is that is three moles of R C H two C H two O H, and with that of the byproduct that will be that is B. So this is the product that we will get, but let me give you certain information for this one. Suppose if we are considering an unsaturated alkene and suppose if we are reacting with diapole, that is B2H6, then the product that we could get is basically that is trialkylborane. So in this case basically the boron, the atom boron, it will attach to the carbon atom of the carbon carbon double bond which consists of that there is more number of hydrogen atoms and now this is how basically it gives us a glimpse of an anti monoclonal group. So by this, basically whenever we treat it with hydrogen peroxide in presence of that is a strong base, so in that case basically we could get a primary alcohol. But we have also understood that is the hydration of alkene, but in hydration of the alkene we have used that is H2S4 and the product that we could get or we have got in the previous example that we have discussed, we have got a secondary alcohol. But in this case we are getting a primary alcohol. So that is how basically whenever we will treat alkene with diabolin, we will obtain a primary alcohol. But while whenever we treat alkene with H2S4, then we will get a secondary alcohol. So this was related to the general reaction of the alkene reaction with diabolin. Now let me give you a short example related to this one. Suppose friends, if you have considered that is propene, that is CH3, CH, double bond CH2. And suppose if we are reacting with diabolin, that is B2H6. Now this should be turned into that is 6 moles of the alkene along with that of B2H6. So the product that we could obtain is basically 2 moles of I'm writing over here as CH3, CH2 because obviously a kind of addition reaction has taken place over here and that is how basically this CH2 will get attached to the boron while this is basically 3 moles of or 3 alkyl groups that will be attached to the boron. So this is what we have got obtained and the name of the product that we obtain over here is because this is methane methane propane propyl and there are basically three propyl groups that have been attached to the morane or boron. So therefore the reason so for that the name is tripropyl. So now out of which basically one mole of that is tripropyl borate that is CH3 CH2 CH2 3 boron. It will react with that is 3 moles of H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide in presence of the strong base that is OH minus. I'll write it over here. And the product that we could get is CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. And that also that is 3 moles. And the byproduct that we could obtain is that is 3 moles of BOH plus. So this is the product that we have obtained, but the product that we have obtained is an alcohol, and that alcohol is nothing but a primary alcohol. And the name of this is propanol. So this was just the reaction and this is how basically it follows the anti marketing of food and this is what I want to talk about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.